Actually, I had a young kid in uh, Dallas the other day, but, but Brad, they don't pay that much for what I do. Then don't do that. <laughs> do something else. It's not complex. If you don't make much money for what you do, do other things. And he just sat there going, oh. See, some people, they get on this path of life and they just think, this is my path. I've got to stay on this path. No matter what, this is the, this is the traffic. This is the way I'm going. And yeah, the whole point behind it is we've got to learn enough to gradually keep putting enough money away. And as we put more money away, eventually we get to, instead of being 100% of our money coming from making, we end up with 100% of our money coming from managing the money that we've already made. But if you never learn to make enough money to, then, then just to pay the bills, why would you get there? Now, I, I'm fairly contentious around this. I believe that you should invest 50% of every cent you make. 50% of every dollar you make should be invested. Now, a lot of people say to me, but I can't live on 50% of what I make. What's my answer? Then make more. Go and learn how to make more than what you're making. That's why I love most of you being in business. What's the cap on how much money you can make when you own your own business? There's no cap. But there is if you don't learn anymore. See, businesses grow to the owner's level of incompetence. The fact of the matter is, most business owners, the reason they are the CEO of their own company is because they know the owner. There's no, they didn't actually have to apply for the job and prove they had any competency level. All they did is knew the owner and therefore they got the job. And the problem with that is real simple. If you're the owner and you're the CEO, you are an awful owner because you you, you, you're weak on the owner. You don't push them to achieve anything. And you're an awful CEO because you keep giving the owner bullshit excuses. True or not? See, some of you aren't laughing at that because it's like, yeah, that's me, but uh, I'm not gonna laugh at that because that's hitting home. Reality check behind this. Can we learn to make a lot more money than we're doing now, yes or no? And this is the first thing I have to teach everyone, how to make more money so that then you have enough to invest. When I meet someone who's making 60, 70, 80, 100 grand a year who thinks, oh, I need to go to an investment seminar. No, you don't. You need to go to how to make more money seminar. You can learn how to invest with no money. But is it easy to invest if you've got a lot of money, yes or no? Yeah, it's easier. So learn to make more, make more, make more, and then you learn managing that amount of money that you've got. Managing is a lot easier. Now, I'll give you one piece of advice I've learned over life. Usually this works really well when there's like a husband-wife combination. Um, like, in fact, for me, it was always myself and my dad. I make all the money. My dad's managed all the money for, for years and years. He's just officially handed me his resignation and said, I'm done, I'm not managing. I said, why? The four hours a week you have to work is too much, is it? Literally, that's how he did. But you know, you sit down and you think about it, so that's fine. Now, my wife just went off to learn about real estate investing. She won't come to my course on real estate investing because there's zero chance I can teach my wife anything. Um, any of you that are married understand that totally.